Hello everyone, man, it's all here, and welcome back to the weekly update video. Now, this week, there's a couple things, a couple small things, especially just like a little bit of a patch week. Uh, but there's a few things to be announced and released this week. First up, there's an announcement about Portable Vic the Trader, which is from April 23rd to May 26th. You will be able to exchange a bond to summon your very own Portable Trader. So now... It works exactly like Victor Trader, the regular one. This will not be a possible replacement, but this is something that could be a replacement for Victor Trader um, in time. But we'll have to see, and this is not necessarily something that will become a permanent in-game feature, but it is entirely possible that they will add it as a feature. Um, now, whether they get rid of the regular Victor Trader, they say not, but it is in the realm of possibility. But all it is, <coughs> is you'll get a summoning stone for being able to do this, and you'll be able to use your XP, and actually buy stuff from the shop with your credits. Now keep in mind, this is not, this is, um, this is only for regular type of accounts. This cannot be used with any types of Iron Man. And this is actually something that's in addition to regular Victor Trader. It says, uh, there's actually a question down below, and it says, is this available for free-to-play players? And they say, yes, for the first time ever, free-to-play players can interact with Victor Trade and trade in their bonus XP. So that means you should be able to get more stuff. <laughs> Put it simple. Okay, so up next, we have <clears throat> a little bit of a fun thing going on uh, with it being April Fool's Day. Uh, there is a t new type of pet, <clears throat> which is J Mods for the farm. How long this actually lasts, I have no idea, but. <clears throat> Eventually, they will be returned back to normal. It's just a temporary fun thing, if you so choose so. Okay, so... Uh, they have mentioned before that they're going to be doing a lot of, about uh, combat integrity. There are going to be a lot of combat improvements coming up. Um, right now, they're just saying about their sign refreshers can now be activated in bank areas. And for those who are using Death Touch Darts, this is a little bit of a heads up for you. And it says, additionally, we want to stop Death Touch Darts from being used at Telos to complete feats and achievements. While this update won't release this week, they will be releasing it next week, possibly. Uh, possibly. So if you have any Death Touch Darts and you were looking to do that, some stuff with Telos, now is your time to do it. Keep that in mind. There's a teleport storage system, which is a quality of life change. It says up to 1,000 Arc Island teleport tablets can now be stored in and used from your Arc journal. 1,000 Menifos teleport tablets in the Menifos journal. Uh, teleport scrolls earned from treasure trails can now be stored as charges in the Globe Trotter arm guards. Up to 1,000 of each type of scroll can be stored this way. That's pretty huge. Uh, again, reminder, the May 2019 Aura Sale, so do keep that in mind because it starts on May 1st and it runs till the 31st. Big sale for it, great time to get your Auras if there's any you are missing or if you are just getting started. <coughs> there is an Oddman Store Refresh, uh, just a reminder, which has a Solite Helm, chest plate, plate legs, mail gloves, boots, cape, and then there's the Lunite Helm, chest plate, plate legs, mail gloves, boots, cape, uh, the Solstice Blade, and the Solstice Shield. Which they take anywhere from 150 oddments all the way up to 1,000 oddments for the bigger items. The cheaper the item is obviously like your boots and gloves all the way up to your weapons. Lootscape. <coughs> this is... Um, this is going to be a player and farm month, so this is what the guaranteed is. Uh, between 10 to 100 player owned farm beans, 
a name re-roller or trait re-roller, a random animal for their farm, guaranteed drop from basic drop table, see below, uh, view counter goes up on orb. So you are guaranteed to get at least one of those things. So keep in mind because you're going to it's possible to get a lot of stuff per week. Uh, there is a chance based one, which is a random skilling outfit piece if unowned. And this is either Nature's Balance or Loot's Cape if unowned. Uh, the basic drop table consists of the prismatic stars, the prismatic lamps, the spirit ruby and up, uh, advanced pulse cores, springs, a silver hawk down, medium dungeoneering token, the small. Dungeoneering token, uncut dragon stone, and the small, lar medium, large cash bags. Live streams this week is Tuesday, April 2nd at 1600 UTC, which is a month ahead preview. Uh, Saturday, April 6th at 1800 UTC, PVM with Mod Lee, a Virago Boss Mass, and then another reminder about the Pink Skirts event. If you want to know more about the Pink Skirts event, I would gladly tell you guys, but Usually the people who want to know about it, you know about it. <coughs> okay, so there's going to be something a little bit different to this that I noticed this week versus previous patch weeks. There is a little shuriken, if I say that correctly, uh, or throne star, next to uh, a, a release for the patch notes, which means it's a ninja fix. So I'll actually announce when there's a ninja fix. This way you guys, if you're just listening along to know what's all going on, you will know. Okay, so Raxor is no longer possible to use Bladed Dive to avoid Raxor's charge attack on the Darkness Path. Audio. The music track Beast of the Undercurrents will no longer play for longer than expected. Uh, the Serum Spirit now has a jingle when it appears, which can be heard if sound effects are turned on making it more noticeable. There's still the existing sound where the spirit is present located under ambient sounds, but you will now get a sound effect when it spawns as there previously wasn't one. Remove squeak sound effect from Vrak Lith Auto Attack. Uh, implemented low level farming skill audio improvements. Uh, there is a Cape of Legends and Obsidian Cape improvements the stats have been now adjusted to actually better reflect the difficulty it is to actually obtain these capes and the obsidian cape gives higher defense and the slightly reduced offensive stats but <coughs> the cape of legend has an increase to offensive and defensive stats and the cape of legend also has now a teleport option to the legends guild and challenges, the challenge mistress will no longer take dragon high boots when turning in daily crafting challenges for van braces. So if you're doing that, you can't do it anymore. Elite dungeons, rare drops such as effigies can now be looted more easily after the Krasian Leviathan encounter. The Krasian Leviathan will now consistently drop loot if it dies while swapping sides. Killing Masudo the Ascended while he is stood above the hidden staircase will no longer prevent players from obtaining their loot. Fire Spirit, an issue causing the host log from a spirit derived from using maple logs on a bonfire to read as Acadia logs in the item tooltip has been resolved. Friends, the join option from right click friend will no longer offer a wilderness lotion teleport when your friend is at the grand tree. <laughs> New areas like the peninsula for needle skips and the lost grove will now point to a better lodestone option when using the joint option. Graphics fixed gold bar textures in Ardon South Bank. Smoke no longer goes through the floor of the raised building northwest of the fishing guild. Fix the graphical issue that occurred while wearing Scorpion outfit with Proud Walk override activated. Uh, lots of emotes had their movements stalls removed. Uh, particles within the Blackstone dra Dragon encounter appear above the ground symbol when playing on Java Client. Fixed issues with 
interface being full screen on legacy mode. The Slayer counter will no longer state that you have not obtained, you stop the soul if the creature does have a soul to obtain. Grouping system, Rage Practice. Uh, Rage Practice Moon will now consistently provide 20 planks when challenging Yakamaru's Mirage phase. Incense Sticks. Remove the Change Tool button on the Make X interface for untreated and ashy incense sticks. Uh, prevented incense sticks from being crafted from items stored in the Beast of Burden. Noted drops banked by Dwarf Weed in incense will now be converted back to non-noted forms before hitting the bank. Crafting logs into incense sticks is now remembered in Make X when produced from the same type of sticks. Life refreshers can now only be activated in the bank area. <coughs> Quest, the destroy warning message for Crystal Tring has been updated to reflect that it can only be retrieved from the quest storage chest once Plague's End has been completed. Players no longer need to use the XP lamp reward to complete one small favor quest. Fix an issue where the quest progression section of the summary tab on the hero's interface was counting one less than total quests in the quest list. The stairs in the basement of Evil, Evil Dave's Big Day Out are now properly handled at certain quest stats, states where previously they wouldn't function as expected. Corrected an issue where rocking out quest was appearing as complete at its conclusion state. Ninja, fires created throughout the Firemaker's Curse, no longer block the player's movement. Next, Angel of Death, there's two hotfixes. Uh, hotfix 1, Angel of Death has had her melee damage reduced to what it was, was previously. Hotfix reverted next AOD's attack cooldowns to the values pre-update. Players now face north when they enter the instance. Resync the projectiles that signify the amalgamation spawns. Return next attack range to 10 tiles in the final phase. Uh, main tank loot is no longer dropped if they leave the instance. Players who roll on the participation table at next Angel of Death now correctly receive kill counts in all instances. Parcels. Players can no longer exchange stamps for parcels without the necessary inventory space. You may now only require 9 inventory spaces when opening lost property, bulky, unless holding multiple of them which in case 10 spaces will be required. Or refreshers will now correctly cap at 250. Ring of Death, there's two ninja fixes. Death, <coughs> yeah, Death Store now offers an overcharge option for Death, uh, Ring of Death, unlocking the option to cost 150 Reaper points. Then rings may be overcharged in Death's dialogue at a cost of 5 cut onyx and 25 blackstone hearts. Overcharge rings take 10 onyx to recharge, but only cost 3% charge per death teleport. Skilling, an issue causing crafting on the potter's wheel to require an incorrect crafting level has been resolved. You can now craft divine charges with full inventory if a stack is already present. And ninja fix, the rate of receive warnings messages for getting reduced rates due to your pickaxe level when mining has been lowered. The debuff icon for Grace of Elves will no longer persist through death. The percent character has returned to buff bar icons. Ninja, two new tunnels have appeared in the walls of the Calphite layer. These shortcuts require level 55 and 79 in agility to traverse. Ninja. Added a shortcut access south of the entrance to Tarn's Lair in the Hunted Mine to the Crystal Mine. Requires completion of the Hunted Mine quest and the Hard Mauritania achievement set. When destroy empty containers when cooking, option is unticked. The pot will no longer be consumed when making a pot of flour with butter to create biscuit dough. A time bar will now appear above the Saren Spirit when one spawns. A message will appear if certain spirit despawns before you could claim its reward. Ninja Orokami masks can now be stored in the player own house costume rooms. 
fancy dress box. Ninja, players can now again store logs with August for hot air balloon charges. <clears throat> Slayer Tower, Ninja, move the Slayer Tower hidey hole to the inside of the building closer to the spot that you actually need the items. Solomon's General Store, examine the typo has been corrected for the Fairy Drake and Shadow Fairy Drake. Fix an issue where buying Aztec outfit via Solomon's store enabled reclaim of Highland outfit and vice versa. Teleports Ninja. Teleport scrolls earned from Treasure Trails. They, again, they can be charged up to 1,000 of each type in the Globetrotter Arm Guards. Uh, and the same goes for the Arc Island Teleports. It is now up to 1,000. And again, the same thing for the Menaphos with the Menaphos Journal. It is up to a thousand. Trim masterwork ninja players may now custom fit normal pieces of trimmed armor masterwork armor without requiring an entirely new set. Previously, a player was required to wear an entirely new set of trim masterwork armor to custom fit one piece they may have previously lost or destroyed. <coughs> Wilderness, an issue that was causing a crash. When checking Slayer options via the Ring of Slaying, whilst having a task or Mandrith has been fixed, Revenant Spirits will no longer try to drop on free to play. Players can no longer get assigned Mandrith special assignments without having the correct requirements to get all required kills. All the Revenant pets cannot be obtained from or cannot be used as familiar overrides. Woohoo! This is finally is an Eris, which is a ninja. Some of the more random events that occur while in Zanaris have been removed. That's actually kind of nice. But that'll be it for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later guys.